Hi, I'm Billy. Hi, I'm Landon. And we're here to show you the Hot Wheels Workshop Airbrush Auto Designer. This set comes with all you see here. Airbrush Auto Designer puts me in creative control. So to get started, let's pick a color. Landon, what do you want to start with? Let's do blue. So the nozzle on the airbrush is adjustable, so we'll test this on a piece of paper to get the optimal spray. Now, let's put the machine in airbrush mode. Switch it to the middle setting, and then we're gonna test this out on a white piece of paper. For optimal spray, do small adjustments to the left or right, testing between each spray. If little or no ink comes out, adjust the knob slightly to the positive side, and then test again. If the ink foams at the tip, adjust the dial slightly towards the negative side. You're going to want to readjust after each pen. Let's start airbrushing. The set comes with this awesome white band, which gives you a lot of white space to design. Okay, Landon, let's drive that car up into the blue chamber and we can get airbrushing. All right. Now let's raise the handle here, put the car into the airbrush area, and then we can also spin this top zone up here so that we can get all sides of the vehicle. You can use these stencils here to help add some more deco to the car, and we'll show you that in a minute. Remember to keep the nozzle one and a half inches away from the object and do slow, fluid strokes for optimal results. Okay, Landon, let's throw on that base coat. Okay. So now we have this great base coat, but the paint's still a little wet. Let's rotate it and then throw it down into the drying chamber. Now let's turn this knob to fan mode so we can start the drying process. Let your car dry for at least 30 seconds. Let's see this. Oh yeah, the base coat's really looking awesome. But we need something to make it more of a hot wheels. Then let's put some flames on that. <laughs> yeah. The set also comes with these three awesome stencil patterns here. Landon chose the flame, so we'll grab that stencil, and then we'll snap it right into the frame right here. Okay, then let's grab the frame and stencil and snap it right into here. There's an upper and lower position for the frame to snap in based on how tall the car is. This is a higher car, so we'll use the upper area. Okay, Landon, what color were you thinking of those flames? Let's do black. Ooh, that's gonna pop nice in that blue. Mm -hmm. Thanks. When painting multiple colors, for best results, do the light colors first. Since we just changed pens, you should go through the nozzle adjustment process again. Okay, let's turn the knob and put the machine in airbrush mode. And then here you go, Landon, you can get the spray in. That looks awesome. Yeah. Okay, let's lower this handle and throw it back into the drying chamber. I'll just turn the knob back to dry. Okay, Landon, let's check out how those flames turned out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. I think it needs something else, though, something electric. How about that circular stencil? Oh, good idea. Let's attach this to the tip of the nozzle. Then we can get some cool spray patterns. Now let's add some customization with the circle stencil tool. What pattern do you think we should use? Let's do seven, because that's my favorite number. Cool. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Time for an autograph. You can write right on that car. So the best part about this is these cars easily wipe off with a damp cloth so that the customization can happen over and over again. You should also use the damp cloth to clean the stencils and nozzles between every use. This set doesn't just work on the car provided, it works on any other Hot Wheels diecast car you have. You can even create an airbrush picture right on paper. This set connects to orange tracks so it's part of the Hot Wheels system, so we can go racing off into other adventures. <laughs> yeah. The fun never ends with the airbrush auto designer from Hot Wheels Workshop. 